Hey guys, what's up? It's Troy P here. Today we are going to be going over trading plans and confirmation checklists. Super important topic for trading. It kind of is you starting to develop what you like and what you don't like um, in the foreign exchange market. And it will also work for options and stocks and crypto if you're building um, portfolios there. So super helpful video. Um, we'll start with what is a trading plan and then we'll end the video by starting to build your confirmation checklist. So this will be a three part series today, like I said, going over what a general trading plan with a confirmation checklist looks like. Next video, we're going to be making an actual confirmation checklist with a trading plan. I have a document for you guys that I'll share in the bio there. And then the third video this week, we'll be going over live trading with my trading plan and how you guys can develop and change mine around to work for you. So what are the things in a trading plan? There's a lot of different things that comprise um, analysis that traders run. There's both technical analysis and fundamental analysis, with technical being most, most of what you do on TradingView and fundamental analysis being what's going on with the, um, the economics behind foreign exchange market or if you're trading stocks, what's happening with the news for a certain stock. So it's kind of a way of gauging different kinds of um, analysis in general for your trading plan. So moving on to the confirmation checklist, what that entails is a strict set of rules that you adhere to when trading. So the difference between a trading plan and a confirmation checklist is that a confirmation checklist just solely focuses on the technical um, analysis. And it can also um, have fundamental analysis components in it, but it's going to be much more stricter, like don't trade during NFP, um, wait for candlesticks to close be below or above um, a resistance zone, wait for an indicator to cross over. Those kind of things are all um, different kinds of confirmations in the foreign exchange market. So the difference between that and a trading plan is that a trading plan will then include um, when you should trade, what you should trade, what your goals are in terms of returns, whether it be pips or fiscal dollars. Um, that those, those kind of things make up the general trading plan on top of your confirmation checklist. So confirmation checklist is part of a trading plan, but we'll get into a little bit of what both look like here shortly. So we'll start off with the things that you need to know about when to trade for your trading plan. So those kind of um, are based off of the volume within the foreign exchange market. And the reason that's important is because high volume equals good trading conditions in the Forex market. Um, the other thing that you'll need to be considering is what works for you in terms of scheduling. When do you have time to chart? When do you have time to trade? When do you have time to check in and make sure um, your profit, profit targets or stop losses are being hit or met or executed? Um, so just kind of like what works for you in terms of scheduling. Those are when to trade. Next up, we have what to trade. So in terms of actual currencies, you should focus on a smaller amount than a larger amount. If you pick to go with the euro pairs, then you would trade euro US dollar, pound US dollar, and the euro pound. I really like that combination. That's personally the current, the three currencies I focus on. For new traders and their trading plan, I recommend focusing on just one currency. If you're kind of developing and back testing a strategy, maybe two, but I would say anything over that would be kind of a leap. And then the next thing you'll want to focus on is what time frames are you using? Are you using the five minute, the 15 minute, the 30 minute? What are you using? Further out time frames if you're swing or long, long term time frame trading? Um, or are you scalper? Those kind of things also um, go with which currencies you trade because certain currencies move in different ways. And then you also want to, again, gauge how many pips you can gain from each currency pair. So that's a little bit more about what you trade. Next up, we have how to trade. So how to trade is pretty general. Um, there's a lot of things that could be thrown in this category as opposed um, to what to trade and, and when to trade. But this how to trade category kind of includes how many trades do you want to have open per day. You also have different factors like what kind of analysis are you running? Are you running that fundamental analysis or technical analysis? So this kind of how you trade will start to begin to form um, your confirmation checklist, which is overall just a smaller part of your trading plan. So hopefully you're starting to see some of the things that might create a discrepancy against you and other traders of what works and what, what doesn't. Um, if I'm sending signals and I'm using my trading plan, but I send it at like 8 p.m. and you're working at 8 p.m. Um, and you don't have time to chart and check on the trade, clearly it's not gonna work. 
You're gonna to have to find a new analysis that better matches your goals and things that you want to look at as a trader, whether it be TA or FA. And then you also wanna make sure that just generally everything, hold time, pip count, fiscal returns, win percent, those kind of things are working out as well as you start to develop your own, that is if you are following someone. If you're in the market blindly right now, I definitely recommend doing more research before live trading. So clearly at this point, you know there's a lot that goes into your trading plan. There's what to trade, when to trade, how to trade, and we haven't even covered all the basis. There's things in TA that we won't be able to touch on. Um, there's patterns, candlesticks, algos, um, different kinds of indicators and things that you can look for in trend lines and just following the basic ideas of where the market at is, who's controlling things. So those are all things that you just learn over time as an investor. Um, especially in the forex market they can be kind of hard there's a lot of fake outs and things that you don't really need to be looking at to get a read into the forex market so it's confusing to get an idea of what works and what doesn't which is why everything is unique as well to you as an investor so things you'll have to figure out but we're doing a pretty good job of getting you in line for your trading plan and your confirmation checklist so we're kind of towards the end of this video before we wrap up i want to just go ahead and brief you on our next video we will be going over actually building this confirmation checklist and and a trading plan. So I have a worksheet for you guys in the next video. Video will be tapped in below in the description. So if you're watching this now, make sure you just go ahead and watch that next video. It's a part two of this, and we will be going over building your actual confirmation checklist. We're going to use mine as an example, and then you'll be able to see how it will work for you. So super important stuff. Hopefully this video is helpful. Hopefully you can tell the difference between a trading plan and confirmation checklist at this point. If you need anything, um, shoot me a message. My name is Troy P. My email is Troy P at top-fx.com or you can find me at Elite Signals Discord. So hopefully this video was helpful. I will see you guys in part two. Take care everyone.